Um, got a couple. I'm just going to finish up with a couple of questions here. JH says, Antenna Analyzer, AA35 or AA55, what would be your preference? They're close in price. Um, if I need a, so. Um, I think doesn't the I'm I'm trying to I'm the, the way the way that uh, rig experts got their analyzers laid out they usually you know you buy by the frequency range so right the, the big difference between a 35 and a 55 is six meters you, you had you had a 55 didn't you or did you have yes. a 30 yeah I had a 55 mm -hmm. um, and I like the 55. There's like it's a 55 zoom or whatever it is now. I think yeah. they moved past the zoom. There's a new model, um, mm -hmm. but the 55 is great. It'll get you six meters through 160, mm -hmm. right? So spend the extra. I, I don't know what the difference in price is, but you might as well just spend and get the six. The only thing that you don't have is VHF UHF. But so, he's got a nano. He's got a nano VNA for that. Right, so right. So and, like now, now I have your old 1000. Yeah. Uh, because you were 600, I think. 600, was, was 600 because I got, I got a 2,000, so. Right. But mm -hmm. I still have a separate bird UHF VHF um, that I sometimes use for uh, 2 meter 440. Yep. Um, yep. But, yeah, if you can get the 55, get the 55. Just, you know, because what will happen was then you one day you'll want to do 6 meters, and then you'll be like, oh, I don't have it. Right? <laughs> and regardless of what the, v, the nano VNA does, um, I'd rather just have an antenna analyzer, even yeah. though the nano VNA gives you a lot more information and it's cheaper. I'd rather just have the analyzer. I like the ability that uh, with the analyzers, like the rig expert, it's just that the ease of use is is exactly. it's just right there, and it's you don't have field, to calibrate them either. No, yeah, yeah. So and and you can and with the with the newer models, I. Uh, you know they they work with the um, Antscope software, so you can save a scan and manipulate it. You know, back yep. on the on on your on your on your desktop PC yeah. or something they, like that. They tell you much more than what a Smith chart is going to give you. Oh, they yep. tell you what you need versus what a Smith chart will give you. Yeah. So. Yep, absolutely. And um, if you go with the actually the stick models, they got the built-in Bluetooth, so they'll interface with your smartphone. You can put the analyzer at the feed point. You can step away 20, 30 feet mm -hmm. and use the Bluetooth to, to manipulate it, which is really mm -hmm. cool too. Yep. So, you know, if you don't, if you want to eliminate the vagaries of coax, you've got that, you've, you've yeah. you know, that's, that's kind of a neat, uh, sort of a neat thing. So, uh, all right. Uh, D Heller says, why does SWR seem to go up when power is increased using an amplifier? It's Ooh. not that it's not that the SWR well the SWR always was there. You don't notice it because of the precision of your meter. So right. you know when you you know you do your you do your tuning tune up at a low power mm -hmm. and um then and then and then when you put the high and then when you put kick the amp in, you'll see you'll see an increase. Most likely, it's because it's just that a lot of times it's just the precision of the meter at that lower power level wasn't able to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's accurate. magnified tenfold when you yeah when you power up. So KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.